One variable star that you can see this month is Y. Conum Venaticorum. It was nicknamed La Superba, meaning the Magnificent, by the Jesuit astronomer Father Angelo Secchi in 1867 because of its deep red color. La Superba is located in the constellation Canis Venatici, or the Hunting Dogs. To find this constellation, let's first look for the popular Big Dipper. If you're familiar with it, you'll remember that the Big Dipper can be made from seven bright stars, three that make a handle, and four that make up a bowl. Together, they look like a big spoon in the sky, the Big Dipper. This group of stars is not a constellation by itself. Rather, it is a part of the constellation Ursa Major, the Big Bear. Look closely at the star in the middle of the handle. If you have good eyesight, you'll see that this star is actually two stars, Alcor and Mizar. Arabic literature says that people with sharp eyesight can see both stars, the brighter star Mizar and the fainter Alcor. Located below the curve of the Big Dipper's handle is the Hunting Dogs constellation with the variable star La Superba. It is a semi-regular variable star, which means its brightness drops by 75% over a period of every 150 days or so. La Superba is one of the reddest stars known. In dark skies, it is just barely visible to the naked eye, but its red color makes it obvious in binoculars. It is the brightest of the giant red carbon stars stars that have a relatively high concentration of carbon in their atmosphere, which causes the red color. It is such a large star that if it replaced the sun in our solar system, its outer atmosphere would extend out beyond the orbit of Mars. To help you explore La Superba, the constellation Canis Venatici, and the rest of the night sky, Try using a star chart or an app on your phone, or you can use our special handout. This variable star episode is brought to you by Ball State University, the International Planetarium Society, and the American Association of Variable Star Observers, an international consortium of amateur and professional astronomers. For more information on variable stars and how to observe them, visit their website at aabso.org.